this Soja Girl. I am so excited. Like, literally, I had another corset. And um, I, I know you guys are probably like, okay, when are you going to stop wearing corsets? But like I said, when you wear your corsets on the outside of your clothes, it really, really um, makes you want to get more because you want to get different, um, different, uh, different kinds. And um, you want to play with the different fabrics between um, uh, satin and cotton, the brocades. You know, I haven't tried the mesh yet, which I'm actually, I want to try the mesh, but I have not tried it yet. Um, I haven't tried leather because I just feel like it would be too hot for me, but if one goes on clearance of either uh, the mesh or the leather, I would definitely pick it up. So I have purchased for myself 11 corsets, for which I still have 10, including the one I just got today. And so um, I've pretty much been rolling with, with Orchid corsets, you guys. They're not paying me. I mean, literally, they did send me a couple corsets. Um, after I was on the Dr. Oz show, because I contacted them to see if I could get my own promo code um, for you guys. Uh, because up until now, I've basically been using um, Lucy Corset Juice uh, promo code, which is Corset Lucy 15, um, which will save you 15%. And so they let me know at that time that they don't, they no longer give out promo codes. And so they did, they did offer me um, the opportunity to choose two corsets. I was absolutely excited when they uh, were able to to, to to offer me two corsets. So definitely. Um, they did send me a couple. Pricing, shipping, customer service is absolutely amazing. Um, again, I'll add a link to their website in the low bar. I tell you guys, check their clearance section because you'll be surprised at how many products they're on clearance. Um, they don't have all the sizes though, so that's why one of my courses I actually got in a 20 inch because I really wanted it. Um, despite the fact that I wear a 22 inch. And so, let me do this really quick because I don't want this video to get too long and I'm already getting hot. I'm trying to look cute. Um, so, I decided to order the CS305 the CS in um, cotton. It's cherry print brocade. And it was funny because I was watching another YouTuber yesterday and she has the same one. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I just ordered that one and I can't wait for it to get here. And so... I'm excited about this one because, again, I don't have a 405. It's very similar to the uh, 411 and the um, the 305. It's I want to say it's 10 and a half inches in the front and in the side, and then it's eight and a half inches um, in the back. So, of course, they come wrapped like little chimichangas or like Subway, like eat fresh. But um. But yeah, so let me get this open. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Of course, I always like to try these on for you guys. <laughs> so cute! <gasps> Look at this, you guys! Oh my gosh, how absolutely adorable is it? I am so excited about this corset, you guys. I was like, oh my gosh, it is so cute. I'm probably gonna relace this one though. I really am. It would. I think this would look so pretty um, with either the red lace or the the green lace. This would be really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, so again, like I said, this one is very similar to the CS, uh, the CS, uh, 305 as well as CS 411. And so this is, again, I show you guys this most times I, I do a lacing video or a corset video, how to, um, loosen the laces pretty quick. And this is pretty much how you do it. Um, it, it has a five inch, uh, modest, modesty panel here. And I want to say that pretty much, I want to say all their corsets are five inch modesty panels. Um, and so yeah. Okay, and again, this is a 22, okay? And so I'm gonna try to lace this up for you really quick. I'm not going to tighten it though. Um, I'm not gonna tighten it, but I'm going to just put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Again, I always do the top one first because it's easier. And then I bend it. And then the other ones tend to go right in. Oh my gosh, I'm already hot. Okay, so, let me make sure they're all in. I always say make sure your pins are in before you start lacing because you don't want to ruin your corset. Always make sure that knot is at the very bottom. I was watching someone's video uh, earlier today and she was saying that she ruined her corset from, um, for starters, for lacing it too tight, too fast, and then she um, broke it in upside down, so, yeah. So yeah, so anyway, so this is what we're looking like right now before I've actually tightened it. I've noticed that some of the um, corsets um, have really long strings and some of them just don't. I don't know why that is. And at first I used to think that the 301s, which are the shorter, the mini corsets, I used to think that those 
pretty much had shorter strings, but they don't. And so, like this one right here, like these strings are really, really short. Surprisingly, they're really short. So, But I won't close this too much for you guys. I just want to give you a, an idea of how it's going to look. I have a lace-up video that um, I'm in the process of loading, editing, and stuff. It's actually up. It's just on standby. I don't like to load too many videos um, at the same time. And so, yeah. But this one is actually, the strings are actually rather rather short. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to definitely relace this one. Okay, there's a technique where you just pull up. See, I pull that little bitty. It comes inside and then you tighten it. This dress is terry cloth and it is hot. <laughs> it is hot. I'm like, I'm like sweating right now. Surprisingly, considering it's it's not cold today. It's a lot colder for a lot of you guys in most of the world. It was 67 degrees today in SoCal. This is a, uh, I want to say it's a silhouette level two. Um, it's on clearance for $39 and I believe they still have sizes 18 and 20 left. And again, this is a size uh, 22. Um, after the promo code, it cost me $33, so you, you freaking cannot beat that, you guys. For those of you who wear your corsets under your clothes, check the clearance. It doesn't matter. It won't matter as much what kind of corset you get. It'll be cheaper, especially if it's under your clothes and no one's going to see it. Like, literally, um, if it's your first corset and you've, you've, uh, you've taken your measurements as far as your bust, your waist, and your hip, and then your torso length, and uh, based on your measurements and the measurements of the corset, you feel like it would be a good fit for you, then go ahead and get one that's on clearance, you know, for a fraction of the price, especially if you're just going to wear it under your clothes and no one's going to see it. So that's one tip that I definitely wanted. To this is a pretty corset. Oh my gosh. I'm like in love. Another tip I wanted to give you guys too. Before you start to, it's not a good idea to pull them like this, okay? Make sure that you, you loop it first. So tie it first, okay, and then tie it. Because if you don't loop it first, um, you're going to be pulling your bars apart. And I made the biggest mistake of doing that with my satin, with one of my first corsets. And so I was actually bending the bars in the back. So make sure you loop it first, then you tie it. Okay? I'm not going to tighten this one any more than it is because I don't want to... Um, I want to take the time to break it in. I still need to break in the three, um, the 345. They had that one on their site for under uh, clearance section as well. So this is basically what it's looking like. I absolutely love it, you guys. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. I absolutely love this corset. Um, just going to give you a really quick turnaround. Whew. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I'll leave it there. If you guys have any questions, definitely read through the comment section first because the question and answer may already be there. Other than that, I will leave it there and I'll see you guys all in the next video.